Guys, welcome to chapter 14. These are the years 2006, 7, and 8. Um, not super exciting years. Stuff was moving along. Um, just raising kids, really. Um, so let's see. These are the years where Dante would turn 8, 9, and 10. And, the, and they were kind of the toddler years for Logan. Um, things were going really well, I thought. Um, like I said, we had gotten Dante into a good school district. He was, <laughs> like I said, it's very ethnic and diverse where we live, um, where, where we lived back then. Um, in his fifth grade picture, he was the only white male in the class. <laughs> it was pretty funny. And it was great. Like I said, nothing wrong with that. It's just so opposite of the world I came from outside of New York. But in Wheat Ridge, in Wheat Ridge uh, about three quarters white, uh, probably a quarter to a third Hispanic. And once in a, once in a while, there's a black kid <laughs> or an Asian kid. It was very much more mixed here in, in Aurora, and that was great. And like I said, he's also in the Cherry School, Cherry Creek School District, so he's getting the, the help he needed at school, and then getting it again from us at home. I was working at uh, Digital Globe, it's been through many names. I mentioned that in the last chapter, uh, and doing well. It was, it was kind of relaxing work, to be honest. I was mapping airfields um, out of satellite imagery, so it was out, that was pretty cool. And uh, I just go and go to work and make my maps and mm, just kind of listen to Pandora and YouTube and that's kind of when I uh, also started getting into comedy a little bit, listening to a lot of the comics who were coming up at that time who, I, who still influenced me a lot today like Louis C.K., Bill Burr, Doug, Doug Stanhope, some guys that aren't alive anymore unfortunately that were also very good like Patrice O'Neill and Greg Giraldo. Um, but yeah, I started uh, getting into comedy and uh, I'm not there yet, that's for the next chapter. This, these years for me, they weren't very exciting. Um, like I say, they were. I was just being a dad and being a husband, and you know, we'd work with uh, Dante a lot, work with Logan a lot. Logan was really smart. He uh, and he was at a place called the Cottage Preschool in these later years, in, in the uh, in around 2008, pretty much uh, before he went to kindergarten. Um, Dylan and I were just moving along. Dylan was doing her her jobs. Um, I'm honestly trying to think of any highlights. Um, I did have some issues with my father. <laughs> we could go into that. Um, I pretty much started a, I'd say like a eight year hiatus with him in um, right around 2005, 2006. It wasn't too long after Logan was born. Um, he, I kind of got tired of his shit. Um, dad, you know, just, he would just say things that were horrible. I mean, go back to my wedding day. <laughs> I swear to God on my wedding day, he said, I give this marriage three to five years tops. Thanks, Dad. Mazel tov. <laughs> Who does that? Um, so that was that. That was Dad. Um, or it might have been. It might have been the night before. I, I, it was right around there. It wasn't like, you know, he was giving me this big warning. Um, you know, and so, you know, hey, we didn't we didn't stay married till we died, but we made it fifteen years. It's not bad. And when you consider the whole relationship, it was nineteen years. So, I'm pretty happy with how we did and I'm happy with how we've raised our kids but yeah I, so I, you know, my, my dad was just being a dick and so I was just like, I was like I'm done with you I don't need you I haven't needed you for a long time and so we took a hiatus I'm gonna say from about oh boy probably about six years like maybe seven years 2007 2008 Logan was young Dante was young and probably till about 13 or 14 I actually ran into him in 2012 and we still have arguments about this to this day. When I was working, like I said, I was working up, this place was up north. The, the Digital Globe was in uh, Thornton, 120th and Grant, right off the highway. And uh, I would often go to the grocery store just to get dinner, like fried chicken or something. And I ran and my dad there, and he didn't even recognize me. I was wearing a beard at the time, and I usually didn't. And uh, he, he, was, uh, he was bagging his groceries, and he didn't look up. And I go, hey, Dad. And he's like, he really didn't think it was me. And I was, hi, Dad. And he's like, oh, Jesus. He's like, hey. And uh, he's like, what's going on with you? I go, well, I'm getting a divorce. <laughs> this is later. This is like in 2012. We'll get to that later. But this is just to encapsulate my father. He said, oh, yeah, saw that coming. Ah, nice to see you after six years, too, father figure. So, you know, we got issues. Um, also, let's see. So, we're, like I said, we're in six, seven, and eight. I'm trying to think of what exciting was going on then. I guess uh, Obama getting elected was, was exciting. Um, that was kind of cool that I had nothing to do with it outside of my, my one vote. Um, 
I don't think other things. I'm really sorry. I just this one's extremely unscripted, but I'm I'm just like I said, we're just super into the kids. That's what we did, and that's why we we have decent kids is because we really took it upon ourselves to be really good parents. Um, uh, we we had some fun. I mean, we had like every May for Dylan's birthday, we'd have uh, all of our friends and family come over, and we have a big party for her. That was always nice. Um, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of anything really momentous that went on during this time. I, I will admit, I did have some issues. I, I kind of, I don't know why, but I was, I had some anger issues at this time. My, in my late thirties, I, I wasn't always a lot of fun to be around. You know, uh, maybe turning 40 was shitty for me. I don't know. I thought when I turned 40, I actually got in a better mood. Maybe the stress of having two kids, um, at 37, 38, 39, uh, was hard. Um, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I was also uh, getting encouraged from my friends to go back to school. Um, I had my four year degree, but I didn't have my teaching certificate. And I find, I, I always wanted to teach when that's what I went to school for, but I, I never got around to it. Luckily I'm in it now, but I still never got my teaching certificate. Um, I just, I hit that wall. And right when I hit that wall, I was about halfway through my teaching certificate and where this is going back to 93. And uh, that's why I started dating Dylan. And once I got my four year, it was, and she was doing well, and I was doing okay. It was really hard to get motivated to go back to school, and I never did. You know, it's been 27 years. I, I haven't gone back, which is fine. Happy with my life. Uh, geez, guys, I'm really sorry. I just don't have much to tell. Um, the next chapter, I will. Let me see. I'm going to try to think of more stuff. See if anything went on, see if anything significant happened. So much happened in 09, 010, and 11 in the next chapter uh, that I'll probably go long on that one. Um, Jesus, I'm really sorry. I just don't have that much. Uh, I, oh, I did skip over. I, this is, to go back for a minute, I went, uh, I ran the, uh, the Boulder Boulder, but that was back in 05. So that was actually the last chapter where I should have covered that. That was kind of cool. I, I, I buzzed my hair, I, I cut my hair into a mohawk for it, uh, so that was kind of funny and silly and goofy. And I trained hard for it, man. I, it, was, it was, you got to train for a 10K. It's 6.2 miles. It wasn't easy. I, I, I'm, look at this. This is not a runner body, man. This is a, this is a linebacker body. This is, not, this is a body that adds muscle easier than it does lose weight, okay? That's, that's what this is. You know, you saw Skinny John back in one of the earlier chapters where, uh, you know, when I used to run all the time, but that was a very long time ago. Um, now I'm, you know, I've always floated, I've, ever since, uh, I'd say the mid-90s when I married Dylan, I've always floated anywhere between 190 and 230. Yeah, 230 I hit in 210. That's another thing that happened in the next three years. Jeez. So, I'm going to make up for the next, uh, the next the, for, for this chapter by going to uh, by really having a lot of stuff to talk about in the next chapter i got two minutes i still want to get to 10 minutes so maybe i'll maybe i can tell you a joke or two i don't know uh i'm working on one right now where um i'm talking about women that are my age like you know anyone under 40 is undateable to me i mean as they should be i think i don't know why any guy my age would want to try to date someone under 40 that you can't really relate to yeah sure she's gonna look good and arguably the sex could be better, but I don't necessarily buy that. So, um, knowing that, <laughs> um, and so my attitude towards women around my age is uh, kind of funny. Like lately, I've, I've been talking to a lot of women in their 50s, and I'm not dating anyone right now. Oh, hey, ladies. Ooh. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Um, anyway, I've, I've talked to some women in their 50s, and it's really funny because uh, some of them have just come off of a divorce or are going through a divorce right now, and they'll be super frank with you about their sex life. They'll tell you everything that's going on south of the border. But then it's really weird. Um, you go, oh, okay, so you've, uh, you know, we've been talking about this stuff. You're talking about how you're in a three-way with a couple 27-year-olds. You're talking about uh, how you pierced your clit and you've bedazzled your vagina. But um, I'm going to ask you your age, and you're not going to tell me that. And I find that very odd. So it's like when <laughs> they turn into this sub southern debutante, like, oh, oh, sir, you have you have definitely crossed bounds with me, sir. I will tell you about the inner workings of my vagina, but I will not tell you my age. A sugar baker woman has decency and pride, sir. I believe you have overstepped your bounds. Okay, that's very silly, but it got me up to my 10 minutes. I hope you guys are all doing well, staying healthy. 
staying happy. All right, there's 10 minutes. I will get the other one done in a few minutes and talk to you about those interesting years that covered 09 through 11. Bye.